In this video, we're going to look at a way of deriving the um, value of sine of 18 and sine of 54 degrees by using a result of a regular pentagon. And from a previous video, we learned that the relationship between this segment and this segment in a regular pentagon, so dg over de is root 5 minus 1 over 2. And this comes from using similar triangles and recognizing that there are a lot of segments in this, these um, triangles that are the same. The other thing we recognize is that these diagonals trisect each of the angles. And so we have all these angles uh, marked. Um, if these two are 36, then this is going to be 108, which we're going to use here in a second. And then also, if this is 36 and this is 72, this is also 72 which means that this triangle right here is an isosceles triangle. And it's an isosceles triangle that looks like this, where these angles are 72, and then if you draw in your altitude up here, this angle is 18, because an altitude, an isosceles triangle, is also an angle bisector, and because that angle at D is 36 degrees, bisecting it makes them 18 degrees. Now the reason all of this is good is because this length, EF, is the same as DG, and so we can call this base root 5 minus 1, and then call the side length of this isosceles triangle as 2. Then, if I want to find something about 18, I can do sine of 18 degrees equals, well it equals opposite, well, the opposite here is this length, which is half of the base, and so we can call that root 5 minus 1 over 2. And then the hypotenuse of this triangle is 2, so that's going to be over 2. Doing a quick simplification by multiplying the top and the bottom by 1 half, we get root 5 minus 1 over 4. And that is the exact value of sine of 18 degrees. So very nice, very easy uh, to use. The second one is going to take a look at this triangle. We'll, we'll do it down here. I'm um, doing in blue, EFA. And in EFA, we have 36 and 36, which makes it isosceles. And we have an altitude draw in, and that altitude bisects the 108 degree angle. And so this is going to be 54 degrees. And then similarly, the length right here is going to be root 5 minus 1. And then this side, EA, is going to be 2 using our relationship from the DG over DE equals root 5 minus 1 over 2, which means this length right here, we call this P, EP is going to be 1. So if you want to find sine of 18 degrees, or 54 degrees, I mean, you're going to do opposite, well, opposite the 54 was the 1 over the hypotenuse, which we call root 5 minus 1. Well, we don't like to leave radicals in the denominator, so we rationalize it by multiplying by conjugate. The numerator becomes root 5 plus 1, and then the uh, denominator, root 5 minus 1, times root 5 plus 1 gives you root 5 squared, um, which is 5, minus 1 squared, which is 1, and so that gives you 5 minus 1, which is 4. And so the sine of 54 degrees is just simply root 5 plus 1 over 4, and the sine of 18 degrees is root 5 minus 1 over 4. So two nice exact values derived from this relationship we learned about in a regular picture.